Welcome back. Are we witnessing yet another Whalers collapse midway through the season? Oh no, the Whalers allow Vincent Dampus to score a hat trick tonight. His third goal with just three seconds left in regulation. Canadians beat the Whalers 5 to 4. Hartford remains winless in 97. Let's go to the Molson Center, pick it up in the second. Score tied two apiece. Dan Poos netting his first goal as he pokes it past Jason Mazzotti. 3 2 Montreal. But Andrew Castles answers with his second of the night. It's three all after two. Whalers take the lead in the third. Sammy Kapanen putting it right past Jocelyn Tebow. 4 3 Whale. But with 1.53 to play, Dan Poos camped out in front, scores his second goal of the night. Now your heartbreaker with three seconds to go. Dan Poos getting the hat trick. The Whalers lose their sixth straight road match. Three seconds to go to Montreal. Now just one point back of the third place whale. Watch out. Also, Rangers and Avalanche skate to a two all overtime tie. UConn men find themselves left off tonight's AP Top 25 despite their big win over West Virginia. However, the Huskies strengthen their hold at the top of the women's poll, receiving 36 first place votes. Same starting five as last week. UConn, Old Dominion, Stanford, La Tech, Georgia, and Tennessee drops a spot to ninth following yesterday's loss to UConn. Well, it's been a tough first year for Central Head Coach Howie Dickman. The Blue Devils lose their sixth straight, 67-57, to Northeastern Illinois tonight. Let's go to Dietrich Jim. Give Howie time. He'll make the Central team into a winner. A couple years, anyway. Dewan Edwards flying through the lane for two of his team high 20 tonight. Eastern answers with a three from Mark Heidelsback. Now for the jam session, Sean Dreyer with the slam for Central. But Willie Keys will find Andrell Horde at the other end. Horde with 28 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists, 5 steals, and bang. Central loses 67-57 tonight. Also, Yale lost 81-57 to SMU. UConn men move into a first-place tie in the Big East 6. That's because Providence shocked 8th-ranked Villanova. Get this score, 91-68. Let's go to the Providence Civic Center. Starting the first half, Friars build an early 10-point lead. God, Sham God with the steal and score. Then off another steal, watch Corey Wright with the pass. Right between his legs to Ruben Garces for the slam. Providence beats Villanova 91-68. Also, CBA tonight. Pride beat Rockford 101-93. Red Sox pitcher Tim Wakefield was hit by a car while jogging near his home in Melbourne, Florida. Wakefield was checked out. Luckily, nothing was broken. Baseball Hall of Fame opens its doors to Phil Necro. The 300-game winning knuckleballer is the only player voted into Cooperstown on his fifth try tonight. I thought someday it was going to come. Uh, I was hoping that a lot of people I know are still around to enjoy it, including my, my mother and relatives and friends. Congratulations, Nuxie. Peter O'Malley has put the Dodgers up for sale. His family has owned the franchise 47 years as Dad Walter moved the club from Brooklyn to L.A. back in 1957. Finally, Harvey's highlight of the night has one of the weirdest hockey saves you'll ever see. It comes from the Rangers Avalanche game. Take a look at Patrick Waugh. One of the game's best finds himself looking at a Mark Messier blast. He stops it, but where's the puck? Take a look. Can't find it. Didn't go in the net. Finally, he coughs it up to the official. It went down his shirt, and voila, the mystery puck is found. And there you have it. Harvey's highlight of the night. That's Never seen that before. <laughs> How did it get Pulls there? It <laughs> Hope he wasn't hurt. Juan knows. Yes, I think so. <laughs> He's okay. Thanks, Harvey. All right, next we'll have our night beat newsreel here. The faithful journeying to a church to check out claims of a religious apparition. Yes, and a tycoon attempts to go where no one else has gone. We'll be right back. In the night beat newsreel around the world in a hot air balloon. No one has ever done it, but British tycoon Richard Branson is going to try. Branson is the head of Virgin Airways, which is headquartered in Norwalk. He'll launch his trip from Morocco within the next two days. Hundreds of people are flocking to a church in Bradford, Pennsylvania. Some folks there claim they can see shadows on the wall of the church, and some have sketched what they've seen. They say it resembles Jesus, the Virgin Mary, and angels. Figure skater Nancy Kerrigan and her husband Jerry Solomon introduced their little boy into the world today. This is three-week-old Matthew Eric Solomon, and she'll be skating uh, in the spring and bringing him along. <laughs> Adorable. Good luck to him, and good luck to you getting up yes. for Eyewitness News uh, this morning at 5.30 to 8 a.m. See you then. Good night. <laughs>